The European Championships are coming up this summer and your boy is excited. This could be Cristiano Ronaldo's final Euro, his final actual major competition. I don't know if we'll see him in another Euro or World Cup. There's so many amazing storylines as England looks to be so strong. France has Mbappe. There's so many great teams. The Netherlands are back. I am excited for this summer's European Championship. The Euros are going to be amazing. And today, because the Euros are coming, I decided to build a team with one Euro winner in each position to see if we can win a game in FC 24. So as long as their nation won it and they played in it, they could be in the starting 11. Let me show you the 11 that I came up with. Hey, if you enjoy these style of videos, make sure to hit that big old thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this type of content. Now, let's get into it. Now, a lot of people may not know this, but Denmark won the Euros many, 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 many years ago. Let me not say many, many, many like it was that long ago. Hey, relax, bro. Chill out. But this man right here, Schmeichel, was part of a Denmark winning team way back in the day. All the way back in 1992, Denmark won the Euros, lads. I had to make sure I had my dates correct before I said it. So big ups to Denmark on winning their Euro. I believe that was their first and only Euro. I could be 100% wrong with that, but that's their first and only. So big ups to Denmark and their massive, massive accomplishment. And big ups to my boy Schmeichel, who is in the starting 11 for the world, uh, for the Euros winners team. Now, with that being said, we gotta jump to the right back position. Now this, we're gonna jump all the way to 2020. And sadly, lads, I don't have his big card, which is kind of sad, but Florenzi was part of the Italianus who won the 2020 Euros, all right? So if you guys remember that, I believe uh, they beat Italy. I think it was, I mean, I mean, they beat England. I'm pretty, I think they, did they beat England? Was it England they beat? I think it was England they beat. But this team surprised a lot of people in 2020 and went all the way to raising uh, a Euro. I mean, Italy's always a favor for any massive European competition, but this was a different Italy, not an Italy with a crazy amount of talent, but an Italy that got it done just like we know. Now, speaking of a team that had a crazy amount of talent, it was the French team. A French team that was absolutely 1 million percent stacked in 2000. This team had two amazing center backs and they're both gonna go in the lineup. The first one being uh, Blanc and the second one being the one and only big boy, Desai. Now. England, uh, France, excuse me, has won this competition uh, twice, and they were the runners up once. They won it in 1984, and they won it in the year 2000. So Desai and Blanc are both coming into the starting 11 for the year 2000, where they were absolutely phenomenal center backs. Everybody knows about these incredible players. Unbelievable careers for both of them. But they helped France raise their Euro in 2000. As you can see there, France won winning team in 2000. It says it there. And for Blanc, I would imagine it would say the same thing. But they talk more about the World Cup uh, for this one here. So, uh, but yeah, 2000 France was absolutely stacked. Now we're going to move to Spain. They have won it three times. Spain has won it in 1964. They won it in the year 2008. And they won it again in the year 2012. They were also the runner-ups in, in, in 1984. So I'm, I believe they lost to France in a final for that one. Uh, but the Spanish left back that is going to take this position is going to be the one and only, the beast himself, the Barca legend, Big Jordi Alba. All right, Jordi Alba is going to take this position for winning it in 2012. Right? 2000, did I say that correctly? Uh, 2000, 2000, was he part of the 2008? I think he might have been, he was definitely, he might have been part of both of them. I'm not 100% sure, but he could have been part of both of them. Now, speaking of Spain, we can go back to 2008, where the one and only big boy Xavi is going to raise the Euro, which is Spain. Uh, 2008, 2012 team, Spain, obviously you guys know, like I know, Spain's team was just absolutely remarkable with the Tiki Taka football. Um, this man capped 133 games for Spain, scoring 13 goals. The now manager of Barcelona was once one of the best footballers we've ever seen, an absolute stud. Now, we're gonna have to go back in time a little bit here, all right, to uh, the year is 1988. All right, we're going back in time, bro. 1988 is when the Netherlands, the Netherlands put their stamp on uh, the Euros. Now we got the Winter Wild Hullet, but now we're gonna keep it with the 90 rated Hullet. He's gonna go ahead and pick up his Euro victory 
in 1988, man. Unbelievable. I mean, the accomplishments for him go crazy, bro. Hulley was named the winner of the Ballon d'Or in 1987 and was also the runner up the following the year. Also runner up the following year. What a player. What a career. Phenomenal. Unbelievable midfielder. Big boy Hullet um, and his massive accomplishments. 1988 was the year. And we got that boy Hullet winning it. Now, we're going to move a step further, right? This is this one touches the heart. Not It's the year 2016. And the one and only big boy Cristiano Ronaldo is going to get himself a spot in this lineup. Because the year is 2016. He carried us all the way to the World Cup Finals. Let me paint the picture for you. He takes an injury, I believe it was Payet who ran into him. Bump knees, he hurts his knee, has to get subbed off. Portugal rallies around their captain getting injured and they go on and win the Euro because of the help of Ronaldo getting us all the way to the final and the boys stepping up and winning him the final. Unbelievable Portugal's first major competition win. They were also the runners up in 2004 where they lost to Greece. I remember this day very clearly because I was under my mom's and father's pool table crying like a little baby. Uh, it happens, things like this happen, but then who would have who would have thought that in 2016, I finally would be happy again and saw them finally win something. Not only that, this man was a big part of it, so this man's going to be in the starting 11 as well. Nani was a huge part of us winning that Euro. He was fantastic all up and down the field, an outstanding player. Other players to talk about were players like Renato Sanchez and things like this. They were incredible players at the time. But big boy Nani was a big, 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 big part of us picking up a nice little Euro. The other striker that's going to be part of the team, got to take you back to Spain where the one and only El Nino, Fernando Torres, raises the Euro with Spain alongside Jordi Alba and Xavi, an unbelievable player. Again, Spain won in 1964, 2008, and 2012. Then the runners up in 1984. There's one spot remaining. The year is 2002, and the Italian Stallions do it again. The big Italian Stallions do it again, bro. Uh, and we got to put the one and only, the phenomenal beast, Chiesa, into the lineup, winning it with Italy. I want to talk to y'all real quick. The nations that have won the Euro um, have been Slovakia, Germany, excuse me, Greece. Shout out to them in 2004. They beat Portugal. Huge, huge accomplishment for their country. Denmark, Netherlands, Portugal, Czech Republic, Russia, France, Italy, Spain and Germany. Germany's won it three times. Spain has also won it three times. Now, Germany won it in 1972, 1980, and 1996. I really wanted to put Lom in this position, but Lom won the World Cup and not a Euro. Um, so that was a little bit unfortunate. Um, but yeah, man, the most recent ones was obviously Greece in 2004, France in 2000, Italy in 2000, uh, 2020, uh, Spain won 2008 and 2012. So... Um, yeah, man, there wasn't a ton of players to choose from, but this is the starting 11 that I came up with. Hopefully, y'all think it's a pretty darn nice starting 11. I'm going to be in a 4-4-2 formation uh, where it'll be Xavi and Hullet in the middle, middle of the park. Chiesa and Nani's on the wing. Fernando Torres and, and, and Cristiano Ronaldo at the striker positions with Jordi Alba Flor and Florenzi in the back with Blanc and Desai. The 4-4-2 will have to be what gets us done we're going to play uh world uh weekend league qualifiers so it should be a little bit tricky uh but hopefully we can pick up some victories let's get into some gameplay so we get matched up against holland and um and company now because some more good players in there you know holland and company uh but we are going to knock this off we are going to beat this team i got confidence bro i got the arsenal jersey on you know we rocking a little bit of arsenal jersey and a little bit of the arsenal badge we got some goats out there for us and i believe fernando torres and cristiano ronaldo are going to carry the boys to massive victory let's find out chiesa hold it all i got is not knee up front he needs to hold the ball while cristiano ronaldo gets an open it's an opening. That's what I meant to say. Speaking a little bit of English there, huh, bud? Yo, corner, corner, corner. Cristiano Ronaldo wins us the first corner of the game. I give it to Nani. I go back to Florenzi. Inside to my boy Chiesa. Dribbling around Chiesa. I could have Cristiano Ronaldo back post, but my boy VVD is going to clear that one way too easily, if you ask me. Here's Nani again. Florenzi going to the middle where Hullet stands. And oh my goodness, what a save from Pope. You got to be kidding me, bro. That was a crazy save. Florenzi on it again. I'm going to go back inside to where Hull it is. It's not going to get to him. That's unlucky. Here comes Cristiano, the 2016 winner. 
Dancing around, swinging it all the way to Hull it, Hull it shoots, and the 1988 winner misses. The 1988 winner misses, bro. How did he miss? The oldest winner on the team missed a, was that a, would you say that as a sitter? Nah, it wasn't a sitter, but I thought he would have scored. This is dangerous. Do we get scored on? Nice, offside, ref, offside, thank you. Chiesa bringing us forward. Fake shot, Chiesa holds on. I go to Cristiano, Cristiano with a good first touch. Cristiano swings to the back post, Nani's there. Nani can't win the header. I tried really hard to head that down to Hullet, but it's, he's not there. Nani with a big interception. Nani doing Nani type things. I give it off to Hullet. Hullet with the relax, break it to Hullet shoots, and the 1988 winner scores. The 1988 winner puts it into the back of the net. He missed the first one, but on the second one, he goes, let me do me, baby. With the nice roulette tucking into the bottom corner, you love to see it. We're up 1-0. Vamos. Walker, 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 Walker. 1-1. One, one. How did, off of kickoff, lads, as well. Off of kickoff, he just pretty much ran a straight line, and there was nothing we could do. Can we hit him back with the same thing? Nope. Look at Fernando. I give it to Nani. Nani can't do nothing with it, bro. Yo, we are not looking good, lads. Honestly, this is looking horrendous. We started the game off so well. We were the one creating all the chances. And ever since then, ever since the goal that he scored, we just haven't looked as good. And I'm going to be honest. I think I want to blame Nani and Chiesa. The wing play has been very, very poor. And because of the wing play, I feel like we haven't been able to create many opportunities to score a goal. That's a good ball whipped in. We clear that with Jordi Alba. The ball bounces back, and Schmeichel got to make a good save. We have looked poor. We're losing. Roy Charleston just scored a header. I think that was over Blanc or somebody. Yo, that was awful. Yo, what was that defense? How did we allow? No, that's a bad pass. What are we? Yo, we look terrible, bro. We actually look terrible. This is terrible. This is bad. I don't know any other word. This is awful. Cristiano. Chiesa, go, baby, go. Go, Chiesa. Ref, that's a foul. Nani, go. Yes, right before halftime. Nani on the counter. We score, dude. That is one of the worst first halves ever, bro. We look horrendous. We're playing horrendous. We are horrendous. The team is horrendous. Everything is bad, cuz. This is bad. I mean bad. I mean really, 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 really bad. I got nobody on the bench to bring in because we got to do it with these players. And I got to keep it a full stack with you. This team is stinky. Like stink. I'm not having a good time right now, bro. Ronaldo, we need you to carry. Fernando Torres. I try to go back to Ronaldo. Pope with a big interception. I really try to go back to Ronaldo. They get an interception. Nice, nice, nice. We got, we got a chance here. Give it to Chiesa. Yo, Chiesa, please. I'm going to shoot it. Ah, man. Come on, boys. Push, 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 push. We could do this, lads. We could do this. Whip that ball in. Nah, no, another corner. All right, we got to do a layoff here because that's not working. I'm going to give it to Nani. Nani goes. Nice, nice, nice. Do I got anyone back post? It's going towards Desai. He wins the header. Ronaldo brings it down. Ronaldo can't shoot. Ah, everything was so well done, but we couldn't get the final shot off, bro. Nah, now we lose the ball in a bad spot. So dangerous here. Don't let him get the pass off. Nice, man. Push, 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 push. Chiesa. Nice, Nani. Cristiano, shoot. Cristiano, Cristiano. Ah, Pope saves. Cristiano has to score. Wow, what a miss. Whip it, whip it, whip it. Nah, dude. Cristiano. Hold it. Torres loses. Torres loses a big chance there for us. Nani. I mean, Chavi wins it back. Nice, Chavi. Chiesa. Torres. No, Torres. Nice, nice. Please. No, no one's there. Ronaldo, big interception, Cristiano. Cristiano dribbles by one, drops to Torres. Torres can shoot. He does. Fernando. El Nino. Come on. El Nino. Vamos. Big goal for El Nino, bro. Wow, that was tough. Cristiano. I hold for a second. Here's Chiesa. Torres. Pull it. I messed up. Penalty. Yes! That's not a pen. 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 We just got mad lucky. Why am I shooting it with Florenzi? I messed up, lads. I missed. I should have taken it with Ronaldo. What are you thinking, lad? Florenzi whipped in back post. Desai's there. Can't score. The counter's going to be crazy here. The counter's going to... Ronaldo. Big win back, Ronaldo. Nani. Vamos, Nani. Vamos, Nani. Vamos, Nani. Torres. Hold it. Nicely played. Ronaldo brings it down. Ronaldo. Play, play. Torres. Shoot. 
El Nino! Oh, we love you, El Nino! We do! We love you, Torres! We do! We love you, Torres! We do! Oh, Torres, we love you! What a player! Fernando El Nino Torres is going crazy, lads! No, he's actually going wild right now for us, man. Things you love to see. Oh, that boy, that boy showed up. That boy showed up, and at what a time to show up. Nah, he's offside on pass. Nice. Go, 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 go. Go, baby, go. El Nino. It goes to Nani. Nani shoots. Que golazo de Nani. Que golazo de Nani. Que golazo de Nani, papa. Come on. Vamos, Nani. Big goal, 5-2. We take the lead big time now. Come on, Chiesa. Cook him. Cook him, baby, cook him. Cook him, baby, cook him. Nice pass. Cristiano! That gets blocked. El Nino! Que golazo de El Nino! Fernando! So, yo, Fernando's that good in this game? I did not realize Fernando does not miss. Look at this. Fernando freaking Torres. What a shot. Left foot as well. Bang! Yo, Fernando Torres is a stud. 6-2. Fernando? Ronaldo? Shoots Cristiano! Sí. Cristiano Ronaldo! Cristiano Ronaldo! Yo, Ronaldo's been quiet. I'm not gonna lie, he's been quiet. He's been really, really quiet. But he did help us get an important assist. He won the ball back on the goal, the, the, the goal that took the lead. He's the one who intercepted the ball. He's the one who won it back. And I think he got an assist off it as well. So he was very important in this game. Very, very important. No, bad pass. No. 7-3. Dude, what are we doing, bro? That was, oh, man, he's going to score again. The terrible pass, bro. Absolutely horrendous football from us, man. The play out the back was bad. This team has like no, it feels like no chem, bro. It just, it doesn't feel good, man. There's something wrong with it. Nani with a chance here. Nani sees the Portuguese man, Ronaldo inside. The Portuguese connection doesn't work. Here's Nani. Nani, way, ref. No fa, ref. Come on, lad. What are we doing? Darwin Nunez, get, get, get me the ball, Darwin. So the ref blows the whistle for the final of the game and we win 7-3 and to a lot of people, that's an impressive win, right? And it is very impressive, but I gotta be honest with y'all. This team sucked. I want to look at the match facts really quickly because we barely dominated possession, uh, but we did win on possession. We did have way more shots and way more expected goals, and the passes were clean. Um, but if I'm going to be honest with y'all, lads, there was never a point in that game where I felt that this team was amazing. Um, there was bright spots and there was bad spots. So let's talk about it. The bad spots was Chiesa and Nani. I felt like I had no control on the wings. That felt awful. Defensively, obviously, because they're not great cards, Florenzi and Jordi Alba didn't really help at all. Xavi was kind of in no man's land the entire game. Hullet was pretty good. The back line was okay. Ronaldo was very quiet. But Fernando Torres was the bright spot. Fernando Torres was an absolute stud in this team. So honestly, out of all the teams I've built and had a lot of fun with, this team just wasn't it and this is crazy because the team is on full chemistry it's a full chem team it just didn't feel good in the 442 i don't know what it was all around it was exciting to play with it because it's a euros winner but i gotta be honest with you the world cup team that i built would smack this team massively this team just didn't feel good at all again the bright spot was fernando torres and ronaldo was involved but at no point did i feel like i dominated that game at no point did i feel like we were cooking and no point did i feel like we had this amazing, fun team. If anything, I didn't like this team as much. Before we close off the video, let's talk about the upcoming Euro this summer. Who do I think is going to win? I think favorites got to be England and France. I think England has a crazy team, especially the way Jude Bellingham is playing. If the coach can get it right, that team is so strong. You got Phil Foden and Jude Bellingham. You have so many ama ama amazing talent for England. And then you got France that has Mbappe and all the talent that they have. Um, Portugal are, are, are a, t a very talented team. But we got to see their first competition of Roberto Martinez. How will they compete? But I got to say, the teams that look very strong, England and France for me. And then obviously you have Germany on the comeback, Netherlands on the comeback, and Spain on the comeback. So very, very exciting. The top two for me is France and England. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, but I am very, very excited for this year. I can't wait for this summer. It's going to be fantastic. Let's, I don't know. Let's see who's going to be entering a team like this. Will it be Jude Bellingham? Or will it be somebody like Big Mbappe? I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank y'all for watching. Subscribe, like it, thank y'all, and I will catch you for the next video. See you guys.